Hello everybody, it's Rob with uh, some Lightroom tips. How are you? Hope you're okay. Uh, this is the new Lightroom 5 or fairly new Lightroom 5 and it's got a few uh, new features from Lightroom 4 but I'm not going to really talk about them. Um, what I want to talk about is what's available in at least Lightroom 4, maybe Lightroom 3, I'm not sure. But if we take this picture here and I know you've if you've seen this picture before, yes, I've used it quite a lot, but um, I think it's a great picture. This is my son that I took uh, with our Canon. Um, it is a JPEG, so it's not ideal for the for um, this situation, but um, it's a good enough picture. And for this example, I wanted to show you just uh, just a quick thing in this grey box underneath the photo. You have this before and after and there's this cycle that we can go through that gives you different options for before and after and this is great for comparing your pictures now this is a before and after obviously this is how it started and this is where we ended up but if I reset that so now obviously the before and after is exactly the same we can actually edit this photo while it's in the after window which I think is wicked so I'm just gonna tweak up the exposure I'm gonna bring the highlights down open up the shadows a bit give it a white point I'm just holding down my option or alt key just to get a white point so already you can see the before and after is looking different I'm going to bring the temperature down just a tweak. Now, in fact, I'll leave it where it was on zero. I'm going to bring the magenta down just a touch. Okay, that's on minus five. Obviously, it's a JPEG. If you're in RAW, it will be the proper values, but we can still do a JPEG. That's all right. So I'm going to bring the clarity up just a touch. Um, I don't want to do too much. I just wanted to show you this. So I'm going to bring, do all this stuff. And let's just give it a tweak of sharpening. When I zoom in, it will zoom in on both, which I think is wicked. Where's he gone? Let's just zoom out a bit so I can see. And let's take the sharpening up just a touch, not too much, on his skin. I can mask it out. Whoops. What's going on there? So if I press the Alt or Option key now, it will show me where it's masking it. The black areas are where it's hiding the effect. And the white areas are where it's actually applying the sharpening. So if I zoom out again... We've got before on the left and after on the right. And that's all I wanted to show you. Another great thing with Lightroom. Like I said, it's not just Lightroom 5. It's um, I don't know how far back it goes, but at least Lightroom 4, I'm sure. And for all those of you wondering whether to go to the CC for Photoshop or whether you're indecisive about getting Lightroom or Photoshop, if you're not sure, then I'd definitely go for Lightroom if you're uh, editing pictures. If you're looking at anything more complex, then yeah, you can look at going into CC or buy an older version um, of Photoshop CS5, or you can still get CS6, I think. Um, so that's it. Just uh, wanted to show you a quick thing. This is another reason why I love Lightroom. Um, so please subscribe, like, and all that good stuff. My name's Rob. Take care. See you next time.